Okay, so this is the Speedo from eBay. Um, just make two, I'll make this in two parts. First one will be about the wiring, and the second one will be how to actually set it up. So, um, there is a 20 pin plug on the back here, and uh, it, it then branches into separate plugs. So now I've already modified this. Uh, and I'm not sure or convinced the colours are the same from speedo to speedo. So let's start by the main feed wiser firstly. Okay, so on this one, if you look at your 20 pin plug, you're going to have a solid red wire, a solid green wire, and a solid black wire coming from the back of the speedo. Okay, now those ones are quite important. The red one is the power supply to the speedo all the time. So you need that one. If you don't hook it up, what will happen is the speedo will work, but it will behave a bit funny. And one of the things it will do is when the RPM is working, because there's not that constant power on it, the needle will get stuck in different place and places so that red as I say is to have power all the time to make it function properly the green one here is actually earth solid green is earth and black is actually power when you want your bike or buggy or motorbike, whatever it is, to run. Once you do those three, this will actually power up. Now while we're at it, this is one original plug, this three pin, and on mine it's also green. Uh, funnily enough, it's solid green, which means uh, it's another earth. There's white and red, and white and black. That three pin, what that's for, is for the speed sensor, the magnetic sensor that goes on your rim, and I'll show you a bit about that uh, a bit later. So those three you don't have to change. Um, if we go to from the speedo, another cable is blue and white. So the blue one with the white stripe is actually to the fuel sender unit. So in my case, I've built in a fuel sender unit into my fuel tank and the other side of the sender unit uh, just goes to earth okay so the signal wire is blue and white so we've now covered blue and white's fuel sender power and earth we've talked about the sensor we've talked about these ones so you've got a light blue cable what that one's for is for the blinker. So this is the right hand blinker to get the blinker signal. The left hand blinker is this one, which is orange. The light signal is brown and white. And the high beam signal is blue. So that's those. Then the only other ones I've actually got here are um, green and red, yellow and red, yellow and black, yellow and white, uh, green and white, and then at the back there's pink, blue and red, and green and black. I know that sounds all confusing. But basically those ones there, are, uh, except all of those cables there are for the, um, the gears. So you've got six gears and neutral. So that's seven of these eight wires are related to that. Now the best way to set that up is, if I turn the power on, uh, it'll do a sweep and see it says neutral now if you're not sure which wire goes to which gear each one of these is earthed so 
uh, on your bike or whatever gearbox you've got and you know you've got the neutral signal just earth it to each of those cables and uh, it'll soon tell you if you've actually selected neutral the neutral light will come on if you earth first gear it'll show first gear down here second through to six so it's pretty easy to just earth the cables to figure out which ones are for which gear now out of this lot the other one that is quite important is this one the black and yellow wire so that black and yellow wire is actually the one that I think a lot of people struggle with that that is the RPM signal to the taco so to what I've done you don't run that wire to the coil the positive of the coil or the negative because basically the voltage is too high and uh, you end up damaging the speedo so what I've done I don't have points in this particular bike so this is a GSX 400 um, I'm sure other bikes will be similar oh god I can't get this damn thing off but I'll take this off and I'll show you where I got the signal for it to work don't want to damage that okay so I went here there that brown cable so what I've done is I've picked up the signal from these pickup posts and these are obviously lower voltage than the coil and I've gone from this one and I've just spliced into that and that is where I'm getting my RPM signal from so that's pretty much the wiring hope that makes sense I'll post a couple of um, screenshots of different uh, uh, wiring diagrams I've found on the net as I say I don't know how accurate they are seems that the Chinese have done whatever they wish to do so anyway Give it a go. Part two, I'll show you how to set, set it up properly. Don't know how much use this is, but this is actually the wiring layout and diagram I got with the unit, but it's actually wrong. But uh, showing it anyway, because maybe it matches yours, and I'm pretty sure the Chinese have uh, pretty poor uh, quality standards, so who knows what you've got. Um, also, a bit of a thank you to Max, a uh, fellow YouTuber who sent through a different wiring gram, diagram, which actually matches my unit, and here it is here. So this one matches mine, um, and I think you know these instructions together with what I've shown you should help uh, get your wiring right. So part two will be coming out soon. Hopefully this has been helpful. Stay tuned.